Hey everybody, happy St. Patrick's Day. We are at Fort Clatsop in Oregon, um, kind of near Astoria. Um, we are going to be, well, I'm here with the Mountain View hikers again. We got a huge group, two vans and like three or four different cars of people. They're bringing the, uh, we're going to be doing the Fort to Sea Trail. Looks like it's down to the coast. It's about seven miles one way. Um, we're just checking out the fort a little bit while we're waiting. They're taking, they're shuttling the vehicles down to the beach area and then coming back and then we're going to hike down as a group. Um, oh, there's some of the interpretive stuff back there. Back there. Um, so we got about 20 minutes for them to do that. So we're going to check out the fort here at, uh, so this is part of uh, one of the winter stops for Lewis and Clark and then we're gonna be roughly following a trail that they would do to get down to Ocean Shores uh, or no what's the what's the name of the uh, the coast um, Sunset Beach Sunset Beach is where they would go to get to the ocean so and there's squirrel chittering at us so yeah uh, we'll check in along the way once we get going oh here actually that's we the garbage the camp that's pretty cool so these are like the classic Indians. So there's I'm gonna flip the camera and get a little of the uh, front view uh, as we're going through the couple of buildings here. Not real big. We got a few buildings. Some of the rooms. Oh, it's like a bunk room here. the hearth. There's Bonnie. Just another So it looks like the building on the left is just some bunk rooms. Some kind of storage room. It's locked. What a couple of more bunks. Some sort of uh Living quarters for those that didn't get didn't have to be sleeping in bunks. A little bit better beds. So, yeah. All right, we're gonna be hitting the trail here in a little bit, and we will uh, catch up more later. So this gives a little bit about. Uh, the fort here. So here at the end of their westward journey, the 33 members of the Corps of Discovery spent four rainy months preparing for the return to St. Louis, Missouri. The men built huts to protect themselves and their supplies. They named it Fort Clatsop, after the local Clatsop Indians. Nothing remains of the original fort. This 2006 replica is based on William Clark's journal description and floor plan. <clears throat> Historians and archaeologists are fairly confident the original fort was located within yards of this site. And that's where the recreation is now. Three sergeants and 24 men squeezed into three small enlisted men's quarters in the orderly room. Captain Lewis and Clark shared a room, as did interpreter Charbonneau, his Shoshone wife, Sacagawea, and their baby, Clark's, uh, Clark's slave, York, may have lived in the orderly room. Oops, we're going to keep that a little better focused. All right, we're going to be heading out to the trail here, and we'll catch up with you guys in a bit. All right, so we split off from the regular trail. They've got a couple of new extensions. There's Bonnie. Very happy. Um, and we're seeing stuff like skunk cabbage is starting to come into bloom. Uh, so named because it does give off a rather skunky smell. Do you know if it, I wonder if skunk cabbage is ed edible? I don't know. I'll have to look into that. Um, mm, 
the most I've ever seen in a condensed area. Wow. So this trail, I guess, uh, this trail, it's about a little over a mile longer than if we were to take the straight route. So just adding that little, since we're not going to be able to do enough time to do there and back, get that little bit extra mileage in. Um, so the first half mile or so, we crossed the road a few times, but now we're getting more into a quieter area. A few, a few, uh, so the trail around is called Quis Quis named after, I think it's the native name for what they called the squirrels, um, possibly because of the sort of squeaky, quees quees kind of a sound that they would make, or that they make. I saw, I got some video earlier of a chattering squirrel, it wasn't making that sound, but um, when I was over by the fort, I got a little bit of video of that squirrel. This is considered second growth forested area. It's still some pretty decent sized trees. It's nice and quiet. The sun, I don't know, it's it's very overcast right now. Hopefully it'll burn off a little bit maybe by the time we get down to the coast and get a little bit of blue sky for the one like the ocean. Mostly the group went the other way. I think a few of us, a few of our group is a little bit ahead of us. We're just kind of chucking along. All right, uh, helps, helps if I pay attention to where the camera's at. Flip around so you guys can see where I'm going instead of where I've been. All right, we'll catch up again in a little while. So I need to do a little bit of research on branches. So I know there's trees that will grow with a bend, but that's like a 90 degree angle. So I don't wonder if, remember hearing things, I have to do some research on how natives used to, or even just other trailblazers would bend branches and get them to grow like in a specific way as trail markers. I might have to do a little research on that, see if we can find anything out more about that. If you know anything, um, throw something in the comments. So we're at just over three miles. We just, we left the overlook. Um, stopped there, just had a little snack break. Uh, let's see, now we're heading basically downhill to the beach. It's about four miles, maybe a little five, almost five miles down to the beach. Um, it's kind of interesting the areas we've been going through, the different terrain and now you can tell this was a trail that I mean there's sections where it looks literally just cut into the side of the hill uh, with erosion control and everything so um, there was some information this land was forested or used for lumber and then turned over to the National Parks Department uh, about 14 years ago 2004 I think it said and so it looks like they've just been slowly making some improvements to it um, the trail that we, the detour trail we took is one of the latest additions. So, yeah. the sun's trying to, we got a little bit of peaks of blue sky out. We also had a few drips of rain dropping on us. So we're here you can see some of the, like, uh, twine netting used for, just erosion control here along the side of this switchback here. Spidey in his nut. <laughs> Spidey in his wet bunny said. Um, so yeah. And the trails, I mean, it's it's an interesting little tr uh, area. Um, it's, it's not too difficult overall. Um, yeah, a little bit uphill at the first part, and then it looks like it's a little downhill. If you started at the beach and went the way up, that would be a lot more work up. Um, but yeah, it's just kind of a big, great little trail. Uh, so it'd be a great one to do if uh, you want, if you can get two cars and do a, a car swap or you know, have somebody pick you up and bring you back up to the, to the park entrance for your vehicles, which is like what we did. Oh, and then we got some spunk cabbage. Okay. Let's see if I can. <laughs> that's the skunk cabbage, yeah. That's very distinct, yeah. Uh, not many people say they like it, though. That's kind of... All right, so anyway, we'll check in again uh, a little bit later. So, this is a little bit of a unique feature on this trail. Try to be more steady passing the Skipnon River, but it passes through a cow pasture. So we're going to, uh, I guess this is our wildlife for the day. Let's yeah, so check out. It's not much of a river, but 
but apparently we actually go th through part of the pasture and sometimes the cows will come up and say hi and visit with you. So if uh, we get any visitors, well, there's a few calves out there. So yeah, if we get anybody coming up to say hi, I'll uh, get some pictures or take some video. But uh, we're about two and a half miles from the shore at the moment. We're going to be crossing under 101 fairly soon. Um, it's, I think it goes through a tunnel underneath the highway. Oh, look at that. It is definitely spring. The plants are starting to bloom. The trees are blooming. And the sun is starting to peek out a little bit. So. Yeah, anyway. We'll catch up uh, maybe when we get to the tunnel or, or just past 101 or so. Isn't that great? <laughs> oh, wait. Oh my gosh, there's a ton of them. No, I think it's just the two. Wow. Because there's a third one behind Soren. Oh, is there? Okay. And then you got the cow. I wonder. Wow, it's huge. It's gonna land on the cow. <laughs> Pick it up. I'm not sure what got grabbed here, but some white and brown feathers. A little bit. Probably a pheasant. Or chicken. Chicken maybe from the, Yeah, we're right by a couple of farms. And we are at the Fort to Sea Tunnel. We're under US 101, which heads up the west coast. We're about two and a half miles from uh, Sunset Beach. Pioneer Church. Hey. Oh, we're too late for service though. It's tomorrow. Oh, that's tomorrow. Sunday. Well, it just says 10 a.m. It doesn't say what day. <laughs> That's true. Could be every day. So we go up here, and then it turns and heads that away. Now, last time where Sherry was was where I raced the cows. Okay. So maybe we'll see some cows. The, the cows at the last field didn't come up and say hi or anything. We saw those turkey vultures. We saw what was looked like what was left of some chicken feathers that uh, something had some fun with. Oh, what are, what are these sprouting or these flowers? Got some flowers coming up. Daffod, Daffod. Yellow crocus, maybe yellow crocus or so, yeah. I know it's been really weird. First it was getting sunny, then it got cloudy again, then we got a little bit of rain, just enough to have us throw our jackets and pack covers on, and then it stopped. Uh, now it's dripping a little bit again. Oh yeah, there's 101 up there. Then we turn off here and head that away. We'll catch up in a bit. So as you're coming along the, towards these pastures, you come along some of these little last gates, or you, I don't know what, what they're exactly they're called, but uh, you cut through a couple, between a couple of fields, then you come to the first gate. Don't keep going straight into the field like we just did. Um, you have to make an immediate left to go to the next gate. And that goes, and that goes, uh, cuts basically between these two fields. So there's 101 still over there. So you kind of follow the highway for a while, then it turns in, cuts inward a bit, go through the first gate, do an immediate left, go through the second gate. So uh, just a little tip and then you go through another gate. So yeah, we're just kind of following along. Eventually it turns back and heads back more towards the coast again. So just a little tip. So when we're almost to the beach area, um, got a, maybe a little dune area. See, that's really interesting just the way the top, the area changes. Now we're in this area of pines. Now this had a, there was a forest fire, wildfire through here a while back. You can see a lot of these dead trunks all around. Um, it's just kind of, it's been a nice variety from the, the forest to the prairie, well, I don't know if call it, a pasture area open area that I'm sure at some point was heavily forested back in Lewis Clark times um, but now has been cleared out for farming and agriculture and some of it has now been replanted because it was used for lumber purposes and now this area here along each it's kind of neat this the way it's been able to be um, 
allowed for the trail to go through this private these private land areas uh, and keep these areas accessible to the public like this it, it's a very nice trail we've passed a number of groups and individuals going by everything from a couple of trail runners to uh, one group looked like maybe a group of scouts with their dads stuff like that so um, it's kind of nice kind okay, of interesting these different burned trees laying around here so anyway, I'm almost to the beach I will um, do some video of the Pacific when I get there and uh, then we'll be just kind of waiting for some of the last of our group before loading up the vehicles and heading back up to the park uh, entrance and uh, heading home stopping for dinner on the way home so yeah we'll uh, I'll catch you up at the beach bird day today besides the turkey vultures now we got a heron over there I don't know if this is a saltwater or freshwater inlet um, I might have to look on the map We're very close. I mean, it's we got that little ridge there, and I can hear the waves coming from the other side of there. Oops, sorry. There's the heron. Lost the heron there for a bit. Yeah, this might be a little bit better view of the heron. Oh, there's a vulture hawk or something in the. All right, we're on the lap. Oh, I can see the. There's the ocean over there on the last little bits here, last little rise of a dune. And of course the wind's picking up. So apparently you can drive onto the beach over here. All right. And there we go, the Pacific Ocean. People out fishing, uh, somebody said they were catching perch out there, just kind of hanging out on the beach. check it out this is in northern Oregon near Astoria um, not my usual stopping ground but it's always fun to expand things out a little bit thanks again uh, to the Mountain View Hikers um, for organizing this so I'll put a link to their group for more information on that um, as well as uh, well this is going to be happening with WT and I'm not watching it but uh, if I can find some more information about the park and the trails and stuff like that here I will put those links in below as well thanks a lot everybody we'll Rob with Positively Alfie. Um, yeah, get out there and enjoy it. Just go out and do stuff. Thanks a lot. We'll see you later.